I have a video uh, showing how to use silicone caulking to make custom molded insoles. And when I made that video, I used glycerin, like this right here, glycerin, uh, which is like a topical skin ointment. You can get it from Walmart or drug stores and such. It's meant for like helping burns. And a lot of people made comments about uh, how you can actually use other things such as icing sugar, uh, cornstarch, regular water, water and soap. Um, there may have been a couple others. These are just all the ones that I actually had in my house. Um, so I thought I'd make a quick video just showing uh, different tests for using the same caulking with different methods for setting the, uh, setting the silicone and see which one seems stronger, uh, if one doesn't work with setting it, um, if it takes one longer to set, etc. Now the last one I have here, Rebound 40, is actually a product from a company called SmoothOn. And they, uh, it's a silicone for making molds and such, which I've been using. And the stuff is really strong. So this is an example of a mold I made, and it's actually of my uh, baby uh, boy's foot. Um, and it is extremely strong. This stuff is kind of expensive, but it's cool because it's just a, it's a two-part silicone. And uh, it's definitely, if I was going to be making lots of insoles and stuff like that, it might be worth buying this. I think this, uh, this two uh, bottles together is about $40, 30 to $40. And you can make a lot of um, insoles with that. Now, on the, side, on the other hand, this type of silicone is like $5. So it's definitely uh, maybe worth trying this first to see if it does it for you. And if you ever wanted to, you could move on to the more industrial type of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I've got cardboard cut out. And this cardboard's all from the same box. So it's all the same cardboard, so that shouldn't make a difference. And I'm going to do, uh, I think, uh, three or four pumps of this silicone. I'm going to mix it with each individual. Uh, I don't know, a hardener. I'm going to just call them hardeners. And uh, I'm going to put it on each of, this, of these pieces of cardboard just like I was making an insole. And then wrap it in saran wrap like I did with the insole video so that you, know, you can try to make a shape or whatnot. Maybe I'll use my hand and make like a shape with my hand. And then what we'll do is I'll leave it overnight and then tomorrow I'll see which ones worked and which ones didn't, etc. Okay, so I'm going to do the icing sugar first. Um, let's see, I'm going to do one, two, uh, there we go, two. I'd say two pumps should be enough. And I'm just going to use the trusty old popsicle stick. And just start kind of adding some icing sugar, and we'll see how much looks like it's good. We'll start with one scoop like that. I'm gonna try another scoop just to be sure. There we go. So that was two scoops of the icing sugar, and it's gone kind of white. If you can see it there, uh, it was mostly clear. As soon as I added that icing sugar, it just started turning kind of white color. So it seems pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't think I need to do much, add much more icing sugar than that. So I'm just gonna try that. So that was two like little small scoops. It should hopefully it shows well in the video. And what I'm gonna do is I will add this blob. To my good old icing sugar palette, and I'm just going to. I want to kind of keep it in a blob so that I can kind of put the saran wrap on it and give it a kind of a molded look. So, okay. So, and I'm going. So, the reason why I want to do this is silicone um, sets to with moisture which absorbs from air. And I want to try uh, keeping it out of the air to see how well this stuff actually makes it mold. And I'm just going to kind of make a indent, like a some sort of shape with my fingers. There we go. Like that. Okay, 
So that's icing sugar done. And I'm just going to put this aside, and then I'm going to do the same for each. Okay, so the next two are water um, and then water with soap. So the videos I found for using uh, water to do this was that the best way to, was actually to put the silicone right in the water and like mix it in the water so it can absorb as much of the moisture as possible. Um, most people did it with soap, but I'm going to try it with just plain water and then water with soap and see if there's really a difference. And let's, I'm going to try mixing it with a popsicle stick first. And it kind of looks funny because it's just kind of floating in there. Um, and I just want to see if, it, if I'm able to mix it, kind of stir it around. So it mixed fairly well. Ooh, ah. oh. uh, there's definitely some left in the bottom here and on the sides, but I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, there's kind of lots of water around this as well. If, if this doesn't set, I'll be actually really surprised. So that seemed to work pretty well. Um, but like I was just saying, it does look kind of different. I don't know how to really explain how it looks different, but it's definitely a little bit m messier. Now, by messier, it's just water, really. So is that really a problem? Probably not really problem not really not really a problem so um, let's see I'll do this like that now the other stuff all turned white when I added to it but this one stayed kind of clear in a way so I'm not sure really how this one's gonna work out so with the water with soap I'm going to do the same thing now with all the soapy bubbles in there it's hard to see what exactly is going on There we go. That kind of worked. <laughs> so we'll go f same thing. Bunch of pumps. Or two pumps. Whoa. The silicone is like not even sticking to itself. It just made like a. Looks like spaghetti. So um, maybe I'll try doing it the same way that I did the other one just to keep things even. Huh. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it, it's just super spaghetti looking. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> See if I, there's a little bit more in here. See if I can get it out. There we go. That was a pretty good catch. And just drain a bit of water there. Now this actually, it looks a lot smoother than the one where it's just water. If you can, I don't know, you can kind of just tell that I'm able to just blob it really nicely. Like it's not really sticking too much to anything, which is kind of cool. Hmm. I'm actually surprised at how different it is. I don't know if it's like it's. I don't know if it's easy to tell in the video, but that just kind of went to, uh, went on there a lot easier than just the plain water. So I'm not going to put this in that puddle. Oops. 
But, same thing, saran wrap. There we go. Put that down. Now, like I said, I uh, actually used this rebound or smooth on rebound silicone for making molds, but originally I was actually going to try using caulking to do a mold because there's some cool videos online of people doing that, and usually they do it this way with the water. So there's that one. I actually it seems pretty thick. So. A little bit thicker than the other one, so I'm going to try to flatten it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now, this stuff, like I said, is meant for making molds. Um, and it's a two-part silicone, and they call it a, a platinum. Sorry, I just had to make another piece here to mix. They call it like a platinum silicone and it's two parts so you have to use exactly 50-50 and it's not cheap but it's also not too expensive. It's not bad, it's quite reasonable. So this is the first part and the stuff is uh, fairly thin so that's another thing to take into account. And I'll kind of show you what I mean. So I'm going to do, let's see, that was one scoop there. Like I said, I want to try to get this so they're the same amount because if I don't, then it may not set properly. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it's pretty thin stuff, and you can you can kind of see it's kind of like a like an icing for a cake that's not set whatsoever. So again, I'm trying to get this so it's 50-50. That looks pretty close. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Let's scoop that out there. So, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna mix this, and it comes out kind of like a minty green. Um, and there's no odor to it. And this stuff, um, I would say, is probably very. Uh, skin safe, but if it really really worried you about what it was that you were using uh, Smooth on actually sells a like certified skin safe silicone for doing life casting So life casting is where people make cast of like their face or their body, you know um, their hands or arms and such like that and This stuff like when it's even setting that you can put it directly on your skin so I'm going to just see if this kind of will be able to show you how thin this stuff is. So one thing about doing the molds of your feet or whatever is that you don't want this stuff to, or the, the silicone to just smooth out. So there, so I just flanned it and you can see how runny it is. I don't know if that shows it that well, but it's just there's very little like uh, tension to it so it just runs like crazy so you can kind of see how flat that's already getting so if you take like a, make a mold of your feet well it's not going to really hold that shape so what you need to do is you need to use some thickener so this is when this stuff gets starts to get kind of complicated and that's the thing that a lot of people probably won't want to deal with thickeners and two-part silicones and having to try to find the stuff so you use this like thickener and it's like a couple draw or just a little bit mixed. It's supposed to be like 1% or something like that will thicken it like significantly. So you add the thickener and mix it really well and then it really starts to uh, get just like, well, thicker. Now that stuff doesn't like increase or uh, quicken the cure time. Uh, they even warn you like don't not to add too much in the hopes that oh yeah if I add more it'll like really just cure like right away. No, that's not really how it works. Um, so you don't want to add too much. There you can already see it just set right there. So now it's like not moving, or it's like barely moving. 
compared to before. Right, so that just, right then, it, I could feel it just like go off. It was just instant pop. And there you go. So once it's mixed, and I could add a little bit more just to make it even a little bit thicker if I wanted. But I don't think I have to. I think that's going to be thick enough. So, maybe that. So there you can see how thick that stuff is now. I will let these set up overnight. Uh, the Rebound 40, you know, uh, it's two parts, so it doesn't actually need moisture to set up. So even with this stuff on there, I guarantee it will set. But I'll do this anyways, just because. Like so. Um, and I'll let this set up overnight and then do a video showing each one exposed. Sorry this is, these videos are so long, but uh, I want to show the procedure for doing all these and do a true test. So hopefully if you've made it this far, kudos to you. Alright, so the next part will be laying the setup for a good day and then peeling off the plastic and seeing how it all looks.